Previously on The Witcher 3. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Hands off. What did you say? Yeah, I sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Witcher, witch. One and the same. So they can burn at one and the same stick. We shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know. I have far worse qualities than that, believe me. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he disappeared, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, 
It must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I've some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Hmm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think, all right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just... Improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. That's a place of cult. This where Madame Arena's troupe performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket. Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Almost. It was almost it, but 
the threatening stride, well, the games of what was wrong that time? Mocker Witcher just Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing? Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. Let's see if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Mm. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. Like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked, on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's no fan of mummies. Failed romance. I'll spare you the discount. He'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Meta. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Ow! Finish him! Got something special like that! Well, well. 
Ain't often you get such a lovely thrash in hell. Man's speechless, but I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes it. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free, hey Al. Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be! Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, <laughs> gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Again. I just hung it along to uh, didn't say nothing. Oh. Not enough, he's a heretic. He's also a liar. What will we do with him? <laughs> we'll bruise his kidneys. So you're the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> Now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, catch it? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emilfart? Called him an allmonger? I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah! Die, fool! Hang around him! We can't get him! Oh. Oh. Alright, enough! Damn it, enough! Poor leg! Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them! One, two over the back, then pow! Right in the noggin! I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. And don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Washed your hair lately. The second sword. Is it in case? Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. 
wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the Ensemble now. Hmm. Thanks. So, about the Princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier. Outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pessy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla.
Majesty, the Monster Slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows, and a grateful queen shall reward your woes. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... and no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. In stealth we'd meet. In deceit, like liars. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. Our hearts torment over. We shall love for centuries. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. T -t -t Treason! Tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. <gasps> hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love, for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish, changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers. As well as for fish. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey! Hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray or scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after.
Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right. I, mummers, don't know the eternal fire's commandments. Blasphemers! Order to teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear you new arseholes! Tear me a new one? We'll see about that. On your feet, boys! Give them a taste of hell in the name of the church! Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take them on our own. Decent diversion, eh? <laughs> oh. Come on, Dudu awaits backstage. Geralt, you recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsons to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion, just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides... You're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. Things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. 
No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Seems everything's ready. Aye. Soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And... Uh, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Come on! Or to watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all oh, weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. This is no place for her. Something happens, I don't want to have to explain to Dandelion why she was here to begin with. Need I remind you that you're here to rescue Dandelion, not me? Seems I can take care of myself. Fine. But remember... I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet. And there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Don't really feel like it. You two play. <sighs> All right. You know the basics, that's clear. Now we can play for real. <laughs> They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here.
dandelion. Damn it. Geralt, go after him. Leave these here to us. Watch it! Three more shits out the hole! Road through here. Shit, lost him. Gotta look for tracks. <laughs> Whoa there, Roach. That's it, Roach. Anyone ride through here? Two men. One slung over the saddle like a sack. Oh, aye. Something of the kind, Dash Boy. Turned left there. But twere a wench you were carrying, swear it on me head, squealing and wailing so. Move it! Hey there. What the hell's a fruit here? What is it? You tell me. One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out before we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark haired. Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded themselves inside? There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here, the key. Sell a door around the back. Thanks. Oh. And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could hear your neck like a fat end to your life. Yes, but I also... My course is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie... Like I said, a hundred gold ingots. One hundred gold ingots. No more, no less. Or I'm not Julian Alfred Tank Rats Viscount Dolettenhove. Viscount? Come on. Everybody calls you Dandelion. That, my friend, is what we call an ast... You've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow... Quiet! Stop me hurting. What? No, 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 you see, me and Gags, we don't... <laughs> Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his reason after years. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. When'd you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men.
your horse! We have to! We're almost there! What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Nobody's gonna read that drivel. Sheesh. What crawled into your britches and bit you? I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. Vafail Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tanaid, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talked to the bear one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Next time on The Witcher 3. See, you kept the rose of remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. So what's this about? 
be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. If the Hunters are after Albert, I doubt some merrymaking will distract them. Geralt, a ball at the Vagelbuds is hardly some merrymaking. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> 